It might be easy to run an application in Kubernetes, but it sure isn't for its O&M. What can we do to make it easier? Welcome to this episode of Cloud Forward. While today, we are going to deep dive into Alibaba Cloud's Container Intelligence Service for ACK and how it can make the O&M difficulty of Kubernetes cluster incredibly lower, Kubernetes is a large and complex distributed system with over 10 core components. Anomalies are inevitable, and maintenance requires really solid professional knowledge. But to our customers, they tend to care more about the business rather than the infrastructure, right? So they don't want to waste time on troubleshooting all the problems themselves. Introducing the Intelligent Assistant, Alibaba Cloud CIS for ACK. CIS stands for Container Intelligence Service. As you can tell from its name, we're trying to introduce more automation and intelligence into the O&M of Kubernetes and therefore lower the threshold. CIS's mechanism is built according to the whole life cycle of an anomaly. It's made up of four major modules, detecting, locating, fixing, and preventing. Its primary goal is to reduce cluster anomalies, increase cluster stability, and remove the need for users to maintain the cluster himself, ultimately. Now, how did CIS discover the anomaly? Common cluster O&M include cluster upgrades, component upgrades, and component installations. Due to the complexity of Kubernetes itself, plus some user customizations, some unexpected changes frequently occur during upgrades, making users hesitant to do that. To address this issue, we introduce checks before co-scenarios, such as cluster and component upgrades. The checklist includes cloud resources, cluster configuration, and node configuration. According to statistics back from our ACK team, the problems encountered by users using Kubernetes follows Pareto principle, with some problems appearing very frequently. With such learnings, we put forward a set of configurable inspection frameworks for high-frequency and high-risk issues, which can check on a regular basis whether the cluster has potential risks. We also provide repairing suggestions for each risk based on expert experience to improve users' self-O&M capabilities. Cluster inspection items include resource level, resource quota, cluster control configuration, node configuration, and so on. Inspection can solve up to 20% of the common high frequency problems, but the remaining 80% or less frequent problems will require the troubleshooting function. For example, node anomalies, pod status anomalies, network failure, cluster scaling failures, and application behavior anomalies such as a DNS errors, errors accessing external services, reboots, abnormal exits, and so on, are among the top failures that users encounter on Kubernetes. During version iterations, Kubernetes can have some security vulnerabilities that users must fix as soon as the community announces them. Because the vulnerability repair process is complex and time-consuming, we provide Node CVE Vulnerability Repair Compatibility, allowing customers to complete the vulnerability repair process with a single click from the console. In addition to CVE vulnerabilities, ACK can also initiate Node self-troubleshooting for common cases such as Node Not Ready and Docker Hangs. In a nutshell, CIS seeks to reduce the difficulty of Kubernetes O&M while also improve cluster stability through a set of tools that automates and intellectualizes anomaly detecting, locating, fixing, and preventing. If you are keen to know more about Container Intelligence Services for ACK, click the link in the description below. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos of Cloud Forward in the future. Until next time.